Alright, so we just got done fishing. We just got back to the truck. JT's cooling off. So I figured I'd go over his tackle box I just got him. Um, something really simple. Uh, just for people that may not know exactly what to... They, they may want to take their kids fishing and they may not know exactly what to get. Uh, it's real simple. Um, I got him this little pencil case, like a dollar just so he can have something that you know it all stays in that's his so not only when we get ready to go fishing we know we just grab this but it's also for him you know he's got his first tackle box so um real simple setup all you need are these bullet weights um these are number seven uh, some type of slip cork basically just threads through um and then you have this, these pack of beads they're made by beacon uh, i don't have the pack for them and that's pretty much all you need that and a loaf of bread uh, we got these like crickets i always like to fish with crickets this is kind of like a backup but you just go to the doll um the bread store get a pack of, or two of stale bread kind of chum the water up for brim um it's real fast paced fishing for kids so it helps keep their attention um, this is like a spin rod that I got him set up with. I learned on the push button once and I got him one. It actually got lost to a fish, but he kept wanting to hold it this way because of the weight. So I ended up going with a spin type reel, trying to teach him because this, the weight's naturally on the bottom of the rod. It's easier for, for him to just hold it and then reel. He's still getting the concept down. It takes patience. That's the one thing that you can't buy at Walmart. Um, I thought it took patience to learn how to fish. No, it takes patience to learn how to teach a kid or yeah, learn how to teach a kid to fish. Um, so basically these, these here that I got, you tie them on, you tie the knot and it comes with this bead. And what that does is your, your cork free floats. So this allows you to, you slide this knot and it adjusts the depth of your line. Um, real simple and easy so that way if you're fishing if you notice you look in the water and the fish are up shallower or more shallow um, you can uh, adjust your depth accordingly fish shallower water if you're not seeing them on the bank but you find like a yeah. little brush pile that there's they're kind of staged up on uh, it's real simple you just move it. Your, yeah baby I see it you just move your knot lower that allows your cork to move all the way up the line and then now you have this much in the water uh, with your bait on the end, obviously. And the only thing about to remember with this setup, you can free float bait uh, with just a hook, but this is a little bit more effective in my opinion, especially if you're fishing a pond with turtles, uh, but the weight, um, you just put a weight on there. And so as soon as it hits the water, that drops. So you cast it, get it tangled up cast it and then it holds like that the water level is right there so it suspends your bait whatever depth you choose uh, perfect little setup for brim real easy uh, every, without the rod just as far as the tackle goes you're looking at six dollars worth of stuff and it'll last you forever at least these that's enough to last you a long time um, and then the weight, same thing. The hooks, you can get a bigger pack of hooks than these. My dad may kill me for showing this. These actually aren't the right size. These are size six. Um, eight all is the trick, but he's always told me never to tell anybody that, and I just told everybody that. So anyways, with brim, small hooks matter. I it. Makes a difference. I, it, Daddy. I see I it, baby. It. So you just take your, your bread, kind of chum the water up um, and then you just press little tiny balls of bread onto your hook chuck it out there and JT's at the age now where I'm having to kind of I'm having to cast for him and I'm having it. to hook the fish for him I it. yep and once I hook the fish I kind of pass the rod off to him and in hopes that he can get the whole concept down he's got the concept now but he gets so excited and kind of not really overwhelmed but he gets so caught up in the moment he forgets the reel so and that's only going to take practice i just got to keep going out there with him and i know that so i just want to kind of come up with a few tips for people i know most of you watching this 
Uh, you probably know exactly how to catch fish, especially brim. That's what we all learn to catch fish. Uh, first fish that we learn to catch. Um, but, you know, anybody seeing this that wants to take your kid fishing, just, you know, have patience and know, you know, that there's a simple rig. Uh, there's some bottom fishing techniques you can use with catfish that work really well. You know, you just cast it out there and let them sit, and it's usually pretty effective, especially if you know there's catfish there. So, uh, yeah, any any tips or tricks that I have, I'm obviously willing to share with anybody, especially when it comes to kids. So, if anybody seeing this has any questions, just let me know.